Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my castle. The king is here back with another video. So we're going to be reacting to WWE 2K18 Cena Nuff said uh Nuff edition reveal trailer. So let's not waste any time, man. Um let's get it, man. Let's get it. Over the last 15 years, no one in WWE has generated a more commanding and divisive reaction from the WWE Universe than John Cena. In honor of the 15th anniversary of one of the most iconic and polarizing WWE superstars of all time, 2K presents WWE 2K18 Cena Nuff Edition. Can you believe this? Hey! Cover! John Cena's done it! He's the world champion! Get the Cena Nuff bonus pack to play as two of John Cena's top rivals from his WWE career, Batista and Rob Van Dam. Uh, this yeah, bonus pack but... also includes two playable versions of John Cena. As an added bonus, you'll receive the Kurt Angle pack, featuring two playable versions of WWE Hall of Fame superstar Kurt Angle. Each special edition includes an acrylic limited edition commemorative plaque featuring an autograph from John Cena and a piece of the ring map from his record tying 16th heavyweight championship win at Royal Rumble 2017. In addition, you'll receive an exclusive Mattel John Cena action figure featuring a reversible t-shirt. Gain access to even more bonus content with the WWE 2K18 Season Pass, packed with additional superstars, movesets, and much more. Plus, you'll get Supercard bonus content featuring limited edition cards featuring John Cena, Batista, and Rob Van Dam. Supplies are limited, so pre-order now and celebrate the extraordinary 15th anniversary of the career of John Cena. I quit. We're done. Yeah, right. Sure, why not? Um, what do I think about this? Um, well, first of all, I don't know why they picked Rob Van Dam in the yeah, they had a really good match in um, ECW, uh, but why him? The, he had John Cena had so many better rivals than him against Rob Van Dam, you know what I mean? Uh, they could have easily picked The Rock. You know what I mean? He could have, they could have easily picked uh, John Cena versus JBL, John Cena versus Randy Orton. That was a, a pretty de great feud. Uh, but Batista and uh, Rob Van Dam. I mean, I guess it's whatever, man. Um, what else? Uh, I don't know why even. Why? That's my only question. Why do we need a John Cena edition? Couldn't couldn't they give someone else the edition except for John Cena? I mean, I guess if you wanted to give it to him, I mean, a lot of kids would buy the game now and like, I don't know, man. I don't know why John Cena deserves it. It's not enough that he gets all the fucking uh, championship title shots. Now he wants a... Uh, this edition did he have to suck vince mcmahon's cock to get this shit like i'm sorry but like what does what does this edition like really brings what if you get this edition every time you pick john cena you never lose a match like they should have had that like come on i would have bought that game and i would have picked the john i would have picked john cena every single time that's what this edition should have been like scratch everything else they should have been like if you pick this john cena right no matter what the situation is you win no matter if you're like uh, one versus three, one versus two, one on one, someone interferes, you still win. Like that should have been the addition, man. They should have added that to the addition. I feel like that. I would da if if they had that addition, I would have definitely got that day one, bro. But I'll, I always pick John Cena. Even online, that works in online too. You know, like if you use this John Cena edition trailer uh, reveal, if you get this edition, right, John Cena. If you play online, right, no matter what the situation you win, if you pick John Cena. And it doesn't matter if this John Cena, it cannot be the Thagonomics John Cena because he used to lose. So you can't pick, you have to pick this edition John Cena. That 
would have been I don't know why they didn't do that. They should they should do it. Come on, 2K. Like that would have been amazing. Cause you know why that portrays what John Cena is. He never loses. You know what I mean? So I don't know why they portray him as this hero where he never fucking loses, bro. He's about to win at 17 time champion. Oh, stop it now. I, I see the comment now. Everyone, everyone's gonna be like, no, no, he has to go to he has to go past uh Shinsuke Nakamura. You really think right? Do you really think that he's gonna lose to Shinsuke Nakamura? Get the fuck out of here, bro. And if you really think he's gonna lose to if, if, if bro, you really think he's gonna lose to uh Jinder? You really think that he's gonna lose to Jinder Mahal in SummerSlam? No, he's not, bro. Get, bro, just, just, he's not gonna lose to, even if, I, I guarantee you 100%, Great Khali's gonna try to interfere, you know the, uh, the two brothers is gonna try to interfere, and I still guarantee you that Cena's gonna win. Do you know what they should've called this edition? Superman Cena edition. WWE 2K18 Super, Superman Cena edition. Not enough edition. That doesn't even make sense. That doesn't even fucking make sense. It should have been a Superman Cena edition. That what it should have been, bro. So Cena comes back after six months. He destroys, he buries Rusev, bro. Where Rusev's been trying to fucking work his heart out. Fucking trying to rehab. Trying to get back into the ring so he can perform. But what they do, they finish to John Cena so he can get buried, right? Then what happens after that? Then they're just gonna bury Jinder Mahal, man. Like fucking whack, bro. But anyways, uh, let me know what you guys think. I know there's other people. Listen, that is just my opinion. I don't hate John Cena. I hate the the fact that John Cena never loses. And if he does lose, it's either freaking disqualification, cheating, or some whack. And he never loses fairly, bro. And he gets opportunity after opportunity and after opportunity, man. It's a fucking land of opportunity in SmackDown. Why is John Cena getting the title shot, man? And I, and please, please, SmackDown, prove me wrong that this is a land of opportunity and have Shinsuke win, man. And face Jinder Mahal at SummerSlam. Please prove me wrong. But I know, I know that's not gonna happen because you know fucking John Cena's back in the back uh, and uh, backstage sucking off fucking Vince McMahon so he can get a fucking title shot, bro. Fuck that shit, bro. Um, oh, damn, bro. Uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think. If you enjoyed my video, please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share. And guys, bro, this is just my opinion, bro. And and if you guys do like him, that's fine, bro. That's I, I don't like if you like him that's about I, I that's me man that's me that's just my opinion just take it or leave it bro and the king will see you next time peace